Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris, coming to you from Rome, sort of church headquarters, St. Peter's right over my shoulder here. We Catholics, faithful Catholics, know that the authority that the church has comes from Christ himself. We need to read in Matthew's Gospel, you are Peter the rock, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it, and I will give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. There's the passing on of the authority right there to Peter and his successors who live right over my shoulder here. If you're a Protestant, ask yourself this question. By what authority do your Protestant ministers teach you anything from the Bible or from scriptures or tradition of any sort? And how did they get that authority? All of Protestantism, Protestantism began in the 16th century. Where did the authority come from? When a Protestant minister stands up in the pulpit and reads the Bible, reads a passage from the Bible, and then says a whole bunch of things about it, by whose authority is he saying that? How do you know he's right? How does he know he's right? What about the Protestant minister across the street who reads the same passage the same Sunday and comes up with an entirely different interpretation? That's why there are 30,000 plus different Protestant denominations and one holy Catholic apostolic church. By what authority, if you're a Protestant minister, by what authority do you say the things you say and who gave you that authority. You are Peter the rock, and on this rock I will build my church, and I give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And he says to Peter at the end of John's gospel, feed my sheep. Thank God for the holy Catholic Church, whose authority derives from Christ himself. God bless you. From Rome. I'm Michael Forrest. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.